Brian Verrill was the founder of Verrills. Probably in the 60s, he sold his first bike. I started with him 35 years ago as his mechanic, established now in Sussex and uh, enjoying the countryside. Bikes come into us, we work our way through them, make sure that everything's working properly, and uh, unsell them, hopefully, at a profit. That's uh, pretty much what we do. I would tell you, they're the oldest established company doing just this, spe specifically doing veteran and vintage bikes, and uh, trying to maintain the breed. But people come, I think, come to us when they buy bikes because they know that they are, well, researched as best we can and give them as much information about the bikes that, as we know it and that they're up and running and checked through and ready to be used. You know, we'd send them all over the world where people will buy bikes that they haven't seen but go on our word. And if you get that wrong, you don't tend to get repeat business. Each individual customer has got his own wants. And we always say there's you know, one bum for every saddle. Each bike is unique and you have to find the unique buyer for that bike. I grew up around old bikes and was forced to ride old 50s bikes as a student because I didn't have any money. And when Beryl's mechanic uh, uh, broke his leg. He asked me if I'd uh, become his new mechanic. Started with him and didn't really look back. I'm still enjoying it now, you know, it's, uh, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting the experience of what it's like to ride a 20s bike uh, and having near-death experiences at 30 miles an hour instead of 130 miles an hour. So riding slower, more in, perhaps more interesting bikes, things that are different to ride. So, and it's as much fun. You know, a lot of guys who can't, are new to it suddenly go, I can go out with my mates and we can just puddle along down the pub and enjoy it. Come on down, buy a bike now. <laughs> No, it's a strange, it's a strange uh, industry to be in. Nobody needs uh, a veteran or vintage bike. They like to have a bit veteran or vintage bike, so you know that it's a, it's a quite expensive luxury. But all the time the interest is there, then we hope to be uh, here as well. Who knows what the future holds? <laughs>